Gaffer, um, halfway through the, the first month of the season, um, obviously three clean sheets, uh, two wins and a, and a draw. How are things at the minute? Uh, hectic. <laughs> um, yeah, it's quite a chaotic month, August. Um, and we, like I said at the beginning of the month, I think before the first game, I think we're learning all the time. I think we can see the um, the first product that this team can bring, and then I always think over a course of a season, a, a team evolves maybe three times. <clears throat> so I think the productivity of the team right here, right now, is strong. I think the work uh, has been implemented very well by the players, and um, yeah, we've had some we've had some good hard-fought earned points already. Yeah, and just on the existing lads already here, you know, the likes of Fergie and Fev and uh, the two right backs that we've used as well, uh, Manny DJ are great. How have they bought into to your style? Of course, you, know, you have brought in several arrivals, but lads already here, how, how are they finding it? Yeah, well, the majority is still the existing players. I think we, I think we forget that. Um, but now they've been very, very good. They're, they're good people. Um, the, the best thing about this squad is they're, they're good lads, you know, good good people that want to work hard, try very very hard every day. Um, yeah, no, no, absolutely fine. Nicky Featherstone is is gold dust to me, absolute gold dust um, in the way that he understands the club. Um, he can give me some traditional or historical context to everything or every decision every conversation uh, and he's still obviously a very very good player and uh, we saw we saw that Tuesday night came in without a minute on the clock and he's just a proper senior player and a very good one at that so no they've, they've been excellent um, all of them um, new or old I think they've been um, very very good to work with. How different is this weekend to prepare for with the travel as well, going to walk in um, over the weekend, you know, what's it like to, to the players, both mentally and physically? Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, it's, it is tough, but it's um, it's a good tough. It's your job. It's a great job. Um, we uh, we get to spend some good time together as a as a group, which I think is always important. I think the travel is is always seen is always deemed a bit of a negative here. That you know the journey times. And, but it does mean that we can spend time together. It does mean that they can bond and and different bits and pieces like that. So I think that's a positive, but um, the, the games will be tough, but I, I don't even consider Monday until five o'clock Saturday. It, do, it doesn't even compute in my mind what Monday is until five o'clock Saturday. My whole, my whole world is um, developed. My, all my thinking is just driven by what Saturday at three o'clock is going to start like and I'll worry about Monday at five o'clock. You've touched on the unity that you want to build on the bus and I guess that's something you've mentioned constantly, whether it be with the fan base or the players away from the pitch. Is that a main ingredient that you know needs to happen this season, that unity and yeah. togetherness with the club? The good, the good stuff doesn't happen without it. So it's, it's, I keep saying it's number one on the priority list, this connection between whether it be player to player, defence to midfield, Supporter to players, supporters to staff, the way the club interacts with each other, um, it's number one because we, you know, we, we have to work out, every club has to work out what they are. And, and what I would like to work in is a club that's completely unified and it's very, very unique and difficult to, to achieve. But you've got to try because the real magical stuff happens when everyone aligns. Um, and and I take it very very important, uh, very very seriously. You know, even the, even speaking to supporters when they've travelled for away games, I take that stuff really important. It's not an act. It's humility. It's trying to bring you know the departments of the club together as best I can, with the help of everyone else. Um, and it is it is so so important. And you can't you can't come out as regularly as I do and talk about this unification. Without then, you know, acting it and, and doing it and showing it in action and rather than words. So, it is my world is 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 to try and develop that further. It really is, 
and hopefully with that, the, the end product of that or the productivity of the club, not the team, the club and the town will be far more positive, far more memorable and we can create those moments. Yeah, and just a word on Wilston, obviously a tough start to the season, but in many ways I guess coming to Hartlepool could be slightly more fired up for this one. No, I, I, don't, I don't believe that they'll be more fired up. I think that I think you look at what Matt's recruited, Matt's recruited a lot of experience this time. It's a completely different um, probably recruitment process to the previous management team. Um, lots more experience. They've, you know, they've been in every game. I know the, the results will, will suggest otherwise, but they've been in every game. Of all the first three games that I've watched, they've always been in the game. So this will be a really tough game. He's got his own way of playing Matt, which is, you know, is up to him and good for him to stick him by his values and principles. These are tough, tough games. Just because it's Wildstone and Hartlepool and they are on completely different planets in terms of history and tradition of EFL, um, that doesn't make it any easier. They're a full-time club now. There's none of the part-time um, elements to it or feel to it. This is, this is a full-time professional football club we're playing and as we saw the other night, you know, we played a, a part-time uh, operation and we found that really, really tough. So this is going to be no different. It's going to be a, a different tactical um, uh, duel, but yeah, still even tough, you know, as tough as, um, if not more so than, than any other. Yeah, and led to believe that Luke Waterfall's suspension is now done and dusted um, or four centre-backs available, I guess that's, that's great for you ahead of such a hectic weekend. No, very good. Yeah, very good. I, I think if I had my time, I said to Luke the other day, if I had my time again, because um, uh, I wasn't going to use him Tuesday on the artificial surface after Saturday. Uh, he had a bit of a disrupted pre-season, so I'm a bit mindful of Luke's uh, needs. Um, but if I had my time again, I'd probably left him out Saturday and rocked him up on Tuesday night at Tamworth for that aerial bombardment <laughs> of that game. I think Luke would have thoroughly enjoyed the... Um, uh, the battle of the skies as it was um, and um, then also we wouldn't have had him suspended but listen we live and learn I think it's uh, it's a good thing to like I said in August always learning but it's a good thing to know ahead of the next time we play Tamworth because I think Luke Waterfall and maybe even a Gary Medin will will thoroughly thrive in those types of conditions and um, we need to make sure we pick appropriately but to have Luke's character back is 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 everything. Just on a word, uh, just a word on the likes of Gary Medine and then um, the other players, Dan Dodds, Greg Sloggett, Luke Charman, Kieran Wallace. How is everyone coming along with their injuries? Yeah, uh, Kieran um, and Greg both trained um, fully yesterday for the first time, full training. Um, Luke Charman has had a scan. Um, it wasn't horrendous news, but it wasn't great either. We're, we're looking at probably um, just over a month, maybe, for, for um, Charman. Um, Dodds, we are still managing day-to-day, -day, but he won't be available for tomorrow. Um, Gary is um, about to have a really in-depth conversation with the medical team and myself about his current state, which will, um, I'm sure will be um, quite entertaining. Um, so we'll have a chat about that with Gary, but uh, I'm, I'm still unsure that we'll see Gary over the weekend.